Okay, so we have here the chemical examination of your urine here with uh, the presence, the termination of the presence of our Benz Jones protein. So we have here a okay, uh, little background about the Benz Jones protein. So Benz Jones protein is primarily produced here by the patient with uh, multiple myeloma. So patient with uh, multiple myeloma produces here abnormal plasma proteins or primarily produces here abnormal uh, plasma cells which try to produce here abnormal immunoglobulin or your antibodies. So generally antibodies made up of light chains like a heavy chain unit. But in the case of your uh, multiple myeloma, what is right to produce here is only the light chain, wala siyang heavy chain. Okay, and um, producing here much of that immunoglobulin that would eventually result here to the production of the much of your Benz-Jones protein. And your Benz-Jones protein is classified as under as uh, with our pre-renal type of proteinuria. Okay, the Benz-Jones protein is identified here by its unique solubility characteristics. So basically, this is the type of protein that try to precipitate at a temperature between 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. And however, if you try to increase the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius, it try to redissolve. Usually kasi a normal protein natin, so that ang basic principle nito, protein tend to precipitate once they are being heated. So normal protein or other proteins, once they are exposed here at temperature between 40 to 60, Degrees Celsius, they tend to precipitate. But if you try to increase the temperature to higher temperature, they further precipitate. But in the case of your Benzion protein, so pag in increase natin temperature to 100 degrees Celsius, okay, na wawala ang kanyang precipitation. That would identify that as its unique solubility characteristics, differentiated it from the other type of the protein. Okay, we have here the method for the determination of the presence of our bench of protein. So we have your Harrison test or your heat precipitation test. Procedure for that one. So we'll be needing here also the first morning urine of the patient. So mix your urine sample before you try to transfer 5 ml of that in a test tube. Okay, then second one, if the urine is cloudy or turbid, then you need to filter your urine sample. With the use of your filter paper, just use, remove the precipitate, okay, just use here the supernatant. Why you need to filter that one? Kasi, pag beforehand pa lang, torpid or cloudy na ang urine sample ng patient natin, mamaya baka hindi natin alam kung magkakaroon siya ng precipitation because of exposing that one to your 40 to, degree, 40 to 60 degree Celsius or what. So, para to prevent interference, dapat hindi turbid ang sample natin. So, pag turbid, itong gagawin mo, filter mo ang urine sample ni patient. The second one, you need also to acidify the urine sample of the patient by adding drop by drop of your 20% uh, acetic acid. So, do not over acidify your urine sample. Okay, so, by, you can check here kung Acidic na urine sample ni patient by having that filter paper. I mean, by having, having that litmus paper. Kung acid na ang urine patient, then you can proceed with the testing process. So after that one, if you have already the urine sample in a test tube, you just need to incubate at 40 to 60 degrees Celsius here in the water bath for 15 minutes. Then try to observe the turbidity after 15 minutes. So, pag walang turbidity, okay, so hanggang doon ka na lang, that's already negative ang result natin. But pag may turbidity, then we need, so pag turbidity ito, so we are suspecting for the presence of the protein. So, you need to differentiate if what is present is really the bench of protein or because of the other types of the protein. By further uh, subjecting the urine sample here to 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, for another 15 minutes. Then, after that one, try to observe. So, kung after 100 degrees of incubation here, nawala ang turbidity, then that's your Benson's protein. 
pag hindi siya nawala or the turbidity, turbidity still increases or try to persist, so that may be because of the other proteins. So still reported was negative for the benzoin's protein. Okay, thank you.